Coach Tepo has always been uh, something you've been listening. Yeah, they've been real good at it, and, and I think you know this is year four, so they got an understanding how we would practice. Um, they do it a lot themselves in the summertime. You know, there's not a lot of wasted time in what we do, and um, I've been pleased with them so far. We're getting a ton of reps right now, so. Did he? That's awesome. Did you ever consider where he fit on a football field? Yeah, I think about it all the time. <laughs> I figure I wasn't here when he got here. I was like, why didn't anybody recruit that guy? I think when I, especially when I saw him at, uh, the most impressive thing for me was at the Olympic trials because I went that first day and it was raining out and everybody said, what an awful, you know, an awful day to be in track. And he sets the world record in the 100 and the long jump back to back. So obviously he would fit in well, not, not you know, blocks out outside things. And But he, he's an unbelievable athlete. That's awesome. He played. He bowled both ways for us. He's got the endurance to go both ways. So he, he could be he'd be a receiver, strong, uh, safety type guy. We could put him to good use. We were talking to Carson yesterday. He said the guy. Talking to Carson. Yeah, which is always. Fun. That's every day. <laughs> every day. Every day. Welcome to my world. <laughs> The guys played a little game the other night with trying to figure out the new guys. They put all the new guys' faces on the on the board. They were having trouble recognizing them. How are you doing with all the new guys? I, I'm pretty good with the new guys. I've been in their houses, so I know who they are. So I, I, I recognize everybody on our team. I'm good with that. So. You know the numbers? I know the they numbers, too. Good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good at that. Do you, uh, you try to facilitate in any way the, the older guys getting to learn the new guys' names? We do that. You know, we, we actually had a draft in the summertime and put those guys on team so that the younger guys got picked up by, you know, we, we integrated those guys pretty quickly. And they've done a good job, you know, over the course of time. I think everybody knows their team real well, but now when we get to camp, it's a matter of kind of expand their, you know, who wasn't on their team, you know, who, who's that. If I'm an offensive lineman, who's that DB, you know, because they don't really have a lot of interaction with them. So it's when you got 105 guys, it's it's important for them to be close, but, you know, you, sometimes you got to facilitate that. So. How about the Amoco team? Steven and Eric on the field I can't because one's 28 one's 29 so off the field they're not wearing their jerseys all the time so I'd be lying if I said I know him. John Neal knows him and I still don't know his technique on how he figured that out but on the field it's easy we do it every we do it every winter so we just carried it over you know just thought it would be a good thing to carry over um, in and really because we want those guys to have some ownership and and that's the thing that we do in the winter time and they have ownership and we said hey let's carry it over to the summer so it's the first time we did it and I've done it we have we've done teams since I was at New Hampshire so I brought that over here so as many different things as we can do from a competitive nature so a lot of it's workout related but a lot of it was school related missed classes you know some of everything where you can get positive points and negative points so you know the interesting thing was letting them, this is the first year we ever let our players draft so you, you get a feel for who they they can count on and who's reliable to them and that was a that was interesting so i don't i don't know did they play kickball at all uh they played kickball i think i don't know wait we say good thing about what goes on in the in the um summer for us is we can't be at anything so whenever they had any of those team any organized team activity we're not at so um they did you know they had a cooking contest once i know they had a three-point contest at matthew Knight arena they had a kickball game they did some different things non-football related things so. who, won? who won the three-point contest um i know chance allen was up there uh i can ask yeah, I don't want three point contest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My team lost. <laughs> Who shot for you? Uh, Kenyon. Kenyon? Ooh. Yeah. Kenyon for yeah. Kenyon. Yeah. DJ! Who won the three point contest when you guys are at yeah. Matthew Night Arena? Uh, Give me 25 more points. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the answer for you. <laughs> it was not to them because they lost. Devon, who won the three-point contest in Matthew Knight? Who won the three-point contest in Matthew Knight Arena? Who? I know that's the team. What player? Who is the best shooter? Christian French. That's right, Christian French. Jackson Rice is good, but Christian French won it. That's right. All right. That out. Anything else you guys want? <laughs> Are we good today? Appreciate you. All right, guys. Thanks. Thank you.